All right, what is up, guys? This is uh, Schwartzy42 or Alex, and I'm just gonna be doing my first uh, TTM recap of January 2014. All right, so start off with I got TJ Ford. I got one of one cards. It's a Fleer in uh, 24 days. He's a retired basketball player, and I sent it to his home address, which I'd be happy to share with you if you just comment in the description. All right, so the next guy I got is Kenny Walker. He gave me a pretty bad SIG on this upper deck, but I mean, I'm not going to complain. He sent it to me for free, so no big deal. But um, he now is a Kentucky, University of Kentucky, I'm pretty sure, announcer. So I just sent it to them, or maybe UNC, I'm not sure, but he's an announcer for someone. And I just sent it there and he sent it back, so it's pretty cool. That, and, he, and he's also the 1989 Slam Dunk champ, so it's a cool plus in this card. All right, so the next guy I got was Derek McKee. I got him uh, one of one in 19 days, so pretty quick turnaround for all these guys so far. And uh, I'm not really sure who he was, but I had a card of his, and I looked him up on Sports Card Forum, and he said it was 100%. So I sent to him, and he sent me back an autograph. And I like the SIG. It looks pretty cool just with all this cool stuff right here. All right. All right, so the next guy I got, and probably my favorite uh, TTM so far, is Muggsy Bogues. He was my first success. I got him in a... Eight days, so really fast turnaround. And I love the SIG, it looks really cool. It's right here, and it says Tyrone Bogues, which is his real name. And it's just, I love it, it's pretty awesome. Next one I got is Maurice Cheeks. This one has a pretty cool story to go with it. I got him a, a one of two, no, two of one in 17 days. So two of one. So I sent him one card, and he signed that one, but he sent another one back that I didn't send. And he signed it for me, so I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to give that one to my dad. And I guess he sent two back because this isn't the card I sent him, this one right here. This is a different one. The card I sent him, I gave to my dad. But he kind of, like, messed up on that signature, and the, the color didn't look too well. So, and I could tell that. He just, it just didn't look like you could see it that well. So he sent back this one, and you can see it just fine. And I'm really that's really cool of him, especially being the coach of the Detroit Pistons right now. So... That's a pretty cool story about that one. All right, so the next one I got was is also one of my favorites. is Dirk. Yes, Dirk. Got him back in 28 days, so four weeks exactly. And it's just pretty awesome to just have a future Hall of Famer sign a card for you and send it back. And I really like the SIG. It just looks beautiful on this prestige, and especially since he signed in blue. Since, like, most uh, teams don't sign with the colors they use, they just usually use blue or black. But he signed blue, and it looks really nice. So thanks, Dirk. So one of my last ones I got was this Ty Lawson. It's a really weird story to go with it. So it's just a regular hoops, but I don't know why he signed the back, which is very odd. I don't really know why he did that, but he signed the back. But one of my friends told me that Ty Lawson sometimes doesn't sign his through the mails TTMs, so. With closer inspection, yeah, I'm using some big words. I looked at it, and you can see if I can focus this camera better. Um, all right, sorry guys, I had to focus it in a little bit better. But as you can see, right there, you see the X right there where uh, the T and the Y form, or the T and the L, sorry. See where it forms? You can see that it's a stamp because it's a little fuzzy, it's because of the fuzziness on the stamp. So, eh, I mean. It's cool that Ty Lawson probably might have touched it, but also sucks that he didn't sign it and he's kind of lying to his fans that he's signing their cards, but oh well. And on to my last one. So my last one and probably one of my favorite ones is this Tony Dungy. And he personalized it and wrote God Bless and then signed his name. Then uh, had the inscription uh, Super Bowl XLI Champs and then uh, wrote a Bible phrase which I don't know what it is because I'm Jewish, it was a little ironic, but oh well, it's really cool and nice of him that he wrote that. And I didn't ask for any of this, I just asked, hey coach, can you please sign this? And he did. And it was looks pretty cool with all these inscriptions. And if I can focus it better, it's a pretty high res picture. And it's a little weird, like it's all scratched up here, and that's not the picture frame. We go up here, and I guess he might have had some struggle taking out of the uh, packaging, but Oh well, it looks pretty cool in a frame. You can't really see the scratches from far away. And it looks really, really nice. So thank you, Tony. 
And thank you everyone for watching this. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back with some IPs of Sixers because I grab in Philly and some more TTMs at the end of February. So thank you very much and stay tuned. I'll see you guys later.